On October 5th, Secretary of the State Susan Beishewitz visited Canoe Brook Senior Center in Brantford. She introduced seniors to the optical scan machine. The new machines will help the state meet the requirements of the 2002 Federal Help America Vote Act. In 2002, Congress passed the Help America Vote Act, which has two requirements, that there be a paper trail for voting machines and that voters who are blind, who are in wheelchairs, uh, who have various types of disabilities can vote without having someone assist them and see how they voted. Susan demonstrated how to use the new machine. This is scanning your vote, okay? And once, and I'll show you uh, what will happen, but after your vote, your ballot is scanned in, it's going to drop into this giant piece of Tupperware with a, with a lock, this secure container, and then all of the ballots will stay there locked until we have either a recount or an audit. Seniors were actually able to practice a system. We asked them what they thought of the machine. What did you think about the new voting process? I think it's very simple. And I, I was very impressed with the way she presented it to us. And we all tried it, and it worked. <laughs> so we're looking forward to it. And you'll be voting this year for sure? Oh, of course. I vote all the time. <laughs> What did you think about the new voting process? I think it was very informative and I think the majority of people got something out of it, yeah. And you find it's easier than the old way? Much easier than the old way, yes. Okay. Yeah. And you'll uh, be voting this year? I certainly will be. I certainly will be voting, yes. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Susan spoke to the both of us about the benefits of the machine. And no one will be intimidated by this new method of voting. I think most people have taken a mastery test, taken an SAT test, bought a Powerball ticket. And so it's very simple. All you have to do is blacken the ovals. So hopefully uh, we will get more people to participate. And I am always looking to get more young people to vote because 20% of the 20-year-olds vote, but 80% of the 80-year-olds vote. So that's my challenge as Secretary of the State is to try to get everyone to vote. Do you think this new system will completely replace the traditional form of voting in the future? You know, um, this November will be the first time every polling place in the state will use this type of voting machines. And uh, our office and the Attorney General banned the use of lever voting machines for the future because we wanted to make sure that there would be a paper trail for voting, which there is not with lever machines, and that people with disabilities could vote using the IBS telephone system as well. Susan has visited 163 senior centers and says that the seniors have been quite positive. And how has the seniors' reaction been from what you've seen? You know, most seniors, once they get over, oh, it's new and it's a computer, they're very, uh, they, they are um, not at all anxious. They're very uh, excited about voting once they see that it involves a paper ballot and that it's not a computer. I think that the few people who might be anxious are people who haven't seen what the ballot looks like. People in general are impressed by the machine and we encourage people to vote. 